and welcome back. We now have a loser's round five match between Betty and Rob. Uh, I'm going to give these players to go ahead and we'll get started. looking quite varied. Uh, looks like an obvious blue-red setup at the start, and they will both take it. Both getting the exact same garbage, but they have deviated a little in their placements. Uh, these two are uh, regulars of the monthly checkup. They've been playing for as long as I can remember, and almost all of them. Uh, so it's a, I always love to see uh, some of the well-known names matching up and, and going head-to-head. -head. And these two... Uh, I would say are quite equal in skill level, although Betty has really been making huge improvements, whereas I think Rob Burrito has taken a bit of a hiatus uh, to attend to other things. Uh, I'm sure that he uh, is happy to be back, though. I think he maybe had some internet issues. He told me something. I'm not quite sure, but uh, I don't want to speak for him. <laughs> but uh, uh, hopefully he can uh, bring back some of the magic, because he's going to need it against Betty here. Uh, so far, looking very even between the two. Uh, Betty looking a little higher up in her center columns, but she's just going to knock that down. Uh, she is going to want to address that right side, I would think, before uh, things get a little too uh, garbage-filled over there. Meanwhile, Rob's board looking very even. He's going to bring his eighth column down to even out his board. Very important. Trying to find the setup here, trying to hold out for the perfect pieces. Uh, he's gonna knock it down, unfortunately, to no combo at all, but uh, he is still doing just fine. Huge setup, and the I, and garbage is gonna block his column five. This is this is DefCon one for Rob Burrito, and he is gonna try to get it over to the right, and it is not gonna be enough. That's a top out. Game one to Betty. Both players finding the same setup again. I love, I love it. I love to see the uh, the uh, like identical moves from both players at the start of a match. It's always fun. Neither player really getting any sort of uh, early lead here. Both of them with very different looking boards, but about even in terms of position. But Betty's, man, one of the biggest changes, I think, and Betty's always been capable of very fast decisions and, and hill movement, but I feel like recently it's it's been on another level. That's something I feel like she has worked on a lot. Um, and if you uh, have ever s have seen her in the past, and then you you may already know what I'm talking about. I think I have a T combo here. I'm gonna get a big yellow cross. Um, I don't know about her center columns. If she, I mean, that is kind of technically a fat log setup, but that's gonna be very difficult to to execute. I think. Meanwhile, Roberto keeping it a little more simple. Uh, hoping maybe to catch, uh, oh, he's catching her setups off guard, but not exactly. She's He's going to combo himself on that one. And he's going to do it again. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate for Rob Burrito. Sort of starting to hit her stride. She's hitting several combos in succession here, and uh, Rob Burrito uh, maybe is not turning it up quite enough. Gonna find another combo. Ama amazing horizontal setup from Betty. Players looking very even once again. Uh, I think Betty may have a couple more active setups uh, that she can knock down, but generally speaking, they're both looking very, very close.
Betty slightly ahead in virus count, Robberito slightly ahead in board position, but uh, Betty is quickly closing that gap and making a liar out of me. As it turns out, she gets a huge triple. And suddenly, she's looking like in a very, she's in a very commanding position here. This is definitely still winnable for Robberito. He's going to need to find some, uh, some combos and try to uh, chain them together to just sort of stall her out while he catches up. Robberito's got an incredible setup on his right side. He's uh, setting that double yellow above the blues in order to get a triple. So uh, that's awesome foresight. You need to be able to find setups like that to compete against a player like Betty. Is starting a little dicey though for Rob Burrito. His setup's not maybe panning out the way he wants. Uh, he is gonna get one here, but his center columns are just so messy uh, and they don't really represent any sort of setup that I can see. He is gonna find one though. It, just because there's no setup on the board at the moment doesn't mean you can't build your own. It's, uh, that's the key really. Betty's looking like she's got a very comfy looking end game right now. But Roberto's gonna have to find something here. Oh yeah. This uh, this might be where Betty's speedrun experience comes into play because uh, I think. Those speedrun players, you find that they seem to have better endgame than players who only play versus. Uh, a lot of the time, they just have a lot of expertise of how to make sure they're not getting in their own way so that they can finish out a level as quickly as possible. Um, of course, you always have to be comboing, but you do eventually have to win, so uh, <laughs> it's important to have that skill, and, and players who are versed in both styles of play, like Betty is, uh, are very good at finding that. And she's going to make an amazing <laughs> game setup to win game two. We're going to the next one right away. Betty does not want to wait. Betty getting some unfortunate garbage on the left side. She, that could turn into a combo, but this blue garbage is going to make things a lot more difficult. Oh, and Barbarito is just finding more and more setups, starting to pull away with an early lead. An early lead is never, never a death sentence. Unless you're about to top out like Betty is, she's gonna have to deal with that blue garbage in her fourth column here. She will find a way to drop it down, but it's still quite close to the top. She's gonna not out of the woods yet. But this setup will do it. An amazing uh, double that is gonna bring the center down even further and keep her alive. Betty's starting to make her comeback, but Rob is still ahead. He's in the lead here. going back and forth, no one really finding uh, any sort of advantage here. Just as soon as one player looks like they're behind, uh, they knock a setup down and they're right back in it and bring things back to parity. This 
just going, it's just going back and forth at this point. Looks like she's gonna try to make a T out of it. Yep, she just needs to lose. Drop this down to stall for a little more time. Ah, oh, that blue garbage unfortunately gonna clear it out. And Rob Burrito's garbage is gonna give him a free triple. That's incredible. He's gonna find another one in just a moment with his double red, I believe. Yeah, and he's gonna knock that down. 22 to 17. Rob Burrito slightly in the lead by virus count. This is very close. <laughs> Just gonna get the full T into a drop combo with the yellows. Rob Burrito with some odd looking spires in the middle of his board, is the best way I can describe it. Um, they can be addressed. Uh, luckily, there's uh, this looks like he tried to do a setup that got blocked by a little garbage just capped off at the top there, so um, he's gonna need to maybe horizontally deal with that uh, or find another way around it. But he is pulling ahead in virus count. He's now 10, now 9 to Betty's 18. Betty is not finding any virus clears currently, um, so she is going to need to start making progress at some point. Clearing up the center of her board, um, whereas Rob Burrito still has some rather tall towers here to, to address. Uh, 13 to 8, so still technically behind in the viruses, but I think she just has a lot more progress on her board, a lot more things exposed, still finding setups. Uh, Rob Burrito, uh, I don't think he's quite as ahead as he might believe he is. And this is gonna be. More and more of garbage coming from Betty. Uh, he's gonna finally take this spire down in the center of the board and get a combo to boot. They're both now at seven viruses apiece, but Betty does have a cleaner board here. Oh my, Betty spade run strats. She's Setting up the end game she needs here. She just needs to knock this blue down. We'll see if she holds out for the blue red. And it looks like she thought about it, but she's just gonna take her triple. He would love to get these blues horizontally, but now they're they're essentially completely covered vertically now. Uh, she may be able to dig them out if she gets enough yellows and reds here. Um, or or she may have an avenue to get them all together in a big horizontal if she can just clear out column four. I think she's just gonna let the pills dictate how she plays this one. Barbarito now on the other side, down to three viruses of his own, making this very close. Those double reds in the bottom left are going to be an issue, but if he gets the right pieces, he could even dig them out vertically. But uh, the potential is there. His blue virus is going to get covered, but Betty is Betty is going to expose the blues, and she's going to get them all together, and that's going to be it. Game three to Betty, three zero. Betty showing why she's quickly becoming one of the one of the top players in the scene. If you know, if I had to say. Uh, that was incredible gameplay.